Hello, Didi DJ, and today I'm gonna show you a useful tool for for working with data. Okay, and Mastercam calls this the data entry socket and the built-in calculator. I'm gonna show you now. Okay. With the um, data entry socket, we can get the value from an entity. Uh, we can do measurement or something. For example, this is a park, and you can see we have a, a, a hole on the park like this. And for example, I did not know the diameter of the hole, and I make a drill tool pad. This is a spot drilling tool pad, and I got a spot drill here, a 10 millimeter spot drill. And then you go to the cutter param sorry, the linking parameter, and you need to input the clearance and the depth of the hole, also the retract distance. So the da data entry socket allow you to do it quickly. For for example, you don't know the diameter of this chamfer, this spot drilling chamfer, and instead of you do a measurement, you can go to the depth here. And you do a you do a right click, and you can see there's a menu pop out. We have many options for input the data. Okay, for example, this is a 90 degree spot drilling. So you know I have to go half of uh, the diameter diameter of this circle. So I need to measure it. In doing that, using the data entry socket in this case I can use the radius of an arc select this and I select this circle okay and it's you can see mastercam will show you the the radius of that chamfer and you just input minus okay minus the radius so you can get a full a correct chamfer distance here okay we can try you can see shoo exactly so you don't need to uh, measure it before you just go to the depth and call the radius of an arc and you you can find the correct value for the depth of the hole okay and you can see we have many other tools like uh, you can use to measure the length you can measure the distance you can uh, find the length of an entity or you can find the the angle between two entity very um, so many options for that okay And this is another example, okay? After I do the spot drilling, I want to drill that hole. For example, this is a 6.5 millimeter. Okay, I create a tool, a drill 6.5. Right? This is number two. And now I need to figure out the depth for the hole. You can see this is a through hole and I don't know how how thick of the workpiece so I just go to here and you have many ways to figure out the depth of the hole you can click on the depth button here and select this bottom you can see this is a minus 13 to the depth or you can use the entry uh, the data, the date, the data. Uh, sorry, the data entry socket. Doing right click and select um, distance between two point. Okay, and you can select top hole and bottom hole. You can see we have the same value, but you need to input minus. So you have the correct depth to the bottom. 
sorry I need to change the tool now it's right to the bottom and you can you want to add more about three or four millimeter for going through the workpiece like this sorry like this okay so I just show you the way we use the data entry socket for calculating for finding a value of a uh, an entity okay and let's talk about the built-in calculator you can figure out the mastercam built-in calculator in the help section and you just type mastercam built-in calculator you can find that this is a built-in calculator and you can use this in any field in mastercam like this okay let, let me show you what we can do with this calculator here you can do some uh, units conversion for example you are uh, an inch guy you're working in a US company and mostly you work with inch system and when you have to work on a metric part you have to everything is metric so you have some confusion when you uh, convert the units so mastercam can help you to do that by using the using the built-in calculator for example for the clearing and you are the inch guy uh, you're the inch guy and you normally use uh, for example two in for clearing and you don't know how 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 is it in And you don't know how across uh, how is it sorry how distant in a metric you can use you can type two inches two and the unit following two inch and enter so you get the exact value in millimeter millimeter that's 90.8 okay three inch enter so you get 3 in in millimeter very simple and we can do the same for retract for example normally you use 0.1 inch so you just type in 0.1 and inch enter so you got the value convert to, to millimeter yes that's the the, the unit converter you can use many unit degree minus second inch micron and feet so you can convert from feet to uh, meter and you can do arithmetic operator like uh, addition subtraction multiplication division and other operator okay let me show you we can use some um, calculation calculation here for example 2 plus 3 5 okay and 6 divide by 2 3 and we can do multiplication yes and we can do I don't know what to call it yes or you can use square square function yeah that is some uh, every uh, arithmetic we can use and we also have some constant here for us for for example the p value okay let's try to type uh, p no. P. Uh, I don't know how to use this. It seems not work. Maybe I do something wrong with the piece. Oh, I, I need to input. 
sheep uh, need to input this uh, okay and p so you got the value of the p all right very nice or you can do some math function like absolute sin call cosine and yeah sin tension yeah very i think there's so many things we can do with the calculator for example you go sin 30 degree so you get 0 0.5 very nice Yeah, and you can see we can do some combination calculation like this. For example, hi, uh, two plus three, and divide one plus two. Yeah, you can see we can do um, combination calculation here. So that's what I just show you the data entry socket which allow you to uh, find the value of an entity or it can help you to measure the distance and doing the right click you can see we have other option we can as set to the drill table this is the in drill table you can see this is the number of the drill and the letter of the drill and you can find the uh, diameter of this or you can just type directly here for example you want to find the diameter of a letter A tree we just type A and enter so you can get the correct diameter of the tree like this for example you want to find the diameter of a 30 a number 30 tree I go like this yeah very simple and you can accept the tab table for UNC or UN tab UNC UNS anything in the UN system the unified thread I see a lot of thing here from UNC to UNF UNS and UNEF yes also for the metric system from the phi to the, the core to the phi to the extra phi threads yes so that's your, the data entry socket and the built-in calculator I think you can it will be very useful in some case you can use it to do some simple calculation without uh, another calculator in your hands okay that's all for today and I have this interesting to you okay thank you and goodbye for now